Some tips for all the lovebirds out there. In his 10 years as a dating coach in New York, Connell Barrett has helped thousands of men in 21 countries gain confidence, learn to flirt, and ultimately find love. No pickup artist tricks needed. His best-selling book is called Dating Sucks, But You Don't. He is the founder of the Soulmate Matching Service, Dating Transformation, and the host of the Dating Transformation podcast. And Connell joins us now live. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Robin and Larry, thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Gosh, so what, what makes you an expert in this field? Or how did you decide that you had tips? Had people told you you had great tips for them in the past? Well, when you're not Brad Pitt, like I'm not, you have to learn the ways to find out how to connect with women and get more confident. I used to have a lot of dating struggles. I struggled with flirting and I struggled with confidence. Once I was able to fix these issues myself, I said, I want to help men, especially shy men and nice guys, get good at dating and get great girlfriends. Oh. All right. You have some prompts that might uh, be good to use on the dating apps. Let's take a look at some of those right now instead of grabbing drinks let's see a comedy show get deep dish pizza double date with taylor and travis right this is a hinge poll prompt and one of the secrets to success on a dating app like hinge is find a way to make that other person laugh mm -hmm. use your sense of humor so here is a tip on how to use hinge is you make that third item in the poll a little joke in my case a fun joke about double dating with Travis and uh, Taylor, and that might make the other person smile and laugh and make them want to match with you. All right, here's another prompt example. A life goal of mine, I'm training for a marathon, a Netflix marathon, but still. See, yeah, that's, that's cute. That works. Not bad. Yeah. It's cute. It's, and, and I have a very... Yeah, let's I have a very dad joke sense of humor, <laughs> so I use it a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's funny you say that. Let's look at this next one, because I want to ask you about that. Would you rather find true love or win the lottery? And here are some examples of photos that could work on, on dating apps as well. One of the, one of the things that I saw was um, to approach a woman and act like a pirate. That sounds like something like Michael Scott would do in the office. <laughs> Right. Um, if you're at a bar at night, you can get a little bit silly and a little bit more loose. So I've been with clients and I said, all right, go up to that woman and do your best pirate impression. Uh, that's good for a bar on Friday night. I would not do that at an art museum at noon on Saturday. You want to be a bit more um, chill and relatable during the daytime. Sure, because at a bar, if the joke falls flat, you could just say you're drunk <laughs> yeah you're a guy having fun at a bar what i what i do like to invite men to do during the daytime don't hit on women quote unquote don't try to pick them up try to give them a meet cute a rom-com movie moment women don't want to get hit on they love having a meet cute moment just like harry and sally or any of the great rom-coms from the past so how do you do that do you you meet them in the grocery store and you know hand him an orange or what do you do absolutely i have a client who met his now girlfriend she was at a juice bar trying to decide what kind of smoothie to get he noticed what she was doing he walked up to her and said one word he said mangoes you want a mango smoothie and she lit up and said, why? Why mangoes? And he told her why. The next thing they knew, they were having two smoothies together. So don't hit on a woman, per se. Um, try to make her day better. Give her a tip on the kind of uh, smoothie she should get, and you might be on a smoothie date instantly. I think we saw a, a, a profile picture that you had uh, mocked up there of yourself. This is interesting. Someone said that men are either shirtless or holding a fish in most of their profile <laughs> pictures. Can you explain that to me? Right. Uh, well, the photo we're looking at is my client Drayton. And one of the great things you can do on a profile is instead of a boring selfie or a, sh a bathroom selfie with you shirtless yeah. in the mirror, find a work of art. Go to a beautiful art museum like in Chicago and take a fun picture of you interacting with a piece of art. This shows that you're playful. It also shows that you have an interest in culture and art. So this is a way to show some sense of humor, but also give a woman what I call a unicorn photo. No woman has ever seen a photo quite like this. They've seen a lot of lame selfies, however. Right, because I think men are, I think someone said that maybe men have a lot of fish pictures because it's the only time they'd be standing by themselves like, hey, Joe, take a picture of me holding yeah. this fish. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
<laughs> well, we're looking at my client, um, my client, Alan, who is just laughing and giggling in the middle of a, a candid real moment, enjoying a pretzel in New York City. Again, no woman has ever seen this kind of photo, but it's much better than a shot of him holding a fish. Because yeah. guess what? Women don't want to date the, the captain from Jaws. Yeah. They want to date <laughs> yeah. a good, normal, re relatable guy. And you have one big mistake that you find your clients bring to the table that you are constantly throwing away or turning turning them around on. Well, there's a couple of big mistakes. I think the biggest question my clients make is asking several boring questions. Where are you from? What do you do? How long have you worked at such and such place? Beware of interview mode when you're talking to a woman. Instead, ask her fun, light, playful questions or just good, positive questions like, um, Robin, what do you love most about your job? What lights you up about working with Larry? Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out of now time. Hey, thanks for you joining us. You down a dark hole there, Connell, <laughs> but uh, I know what you're going for there. Yeah. It's, it's great ideas. You can check out datingtransformation.com. You can also find Connell on Instagram and his podcast, Dating Transformation. Thanks, Connell. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.